Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are doing good. We're going to try to add on to our amazing, mind-blowing three-day streak. Uh, yesterday, we did a really, I thought, very impressive job nailing my challenge, which is to make sure that every word, including the answer, is in alphabetical order. We absolutely crushed that, and we even did it while staying in hard mode. Uh, today, that's not going to be possible. We're going to do, this is um, a really super cool challenge. It's called the snake, and what that means is that we can start with whatever word we want, but the last letter of that word then must begin the word, um, begin the first word in the next row, and it'll continue in that pattern. Then the last word in the second row, the last letter rather in the second row, has to begin the first letter in the third row, and so on and so forth. You'll see how it'll work when we play it. It's super challenging, and um, yeah, you have to be careful because there's a few letters that, like, if you don't know um, something that ends in it, right? You could be really screwed. Okay. Um, but let's not worry about that until we get there. Um, I think slate is actually great because, um, yeah, because it's, it's going to, you know, help get you towards your answer. And, uh, E is not a bad letter to start things with. So yeah, let's go with that. Oh, not bad. Um, not bad at all. So we could do our next word. And now here you don't uh, have to stay in hard mode. That would be super hard to do. Um, you could do, um, you could do erect is actually not bad at all because we will have really good positional on the E. It'll be down to either second or fourth. We actually see if the word ends in T, it could legit be the answer. So I think that's really good. And you see again, guys, how this is working? Slate ended in E, so we begin the next word with E. That ends in T. So our third word, un, un, you know, unless we got it in two, which would be amazing, has to begin with a T. Oh my God. That was insane. Uh, are we going to... Okay, so here's the deal. Ah, right, guys. So um, it's probably going to be exert. Just double checking. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be exert, right? Because the R obviously has to go for it. That was an unbelievable guess. Um, so sadly, uh, we will have to um, get this in four, even though it would be great to do it in three, because I can't just put in exert right now, because it, the third word has to begin with a T, right? It has to begin with the last letter um, of the previous word. So what we can do is just put pretty much anything in. We could just even put in there, right? Um, and then we'll put an exert. Kapow! Pretty good, pretty good. That's very hard to do, first off. And um, to get that in four is pretty close to um, as fast as you can get it, okay? Because usually you don't have the thing figured out yet and you have to go at least two more rows. So you can see why this could be potentially extremely challenging. But there you go. Starting with Slate was perfect. Erect was an unbelievably good guess. And it handed me the answer. And there we go, guys. Isn't that cool? So you start with the whatever you want. It ends in E. Next word begins with E. Ends in T. Next word begins with T. Ends in E. Next word begins with E. But a bing, but a bam. We nailed it. We did not have to exert ourselves too hard. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for yet another round of Wordle.